I'm asked frequently by homeowners who consult with me, do I need to have a contract uh, with my contractor, with my architect, uh, before I start my job? A lot of times contractors like to start jobs without contracts for whatever reason they may have. My response to you is yes, uh, you should have a contract. Uh, you should have a contract that has specific provisions in it that you want that are going to favor you. Some things that need to be in your contract, when does the project start? When is the project supposed to be completed? Uh, you don't want your project dragging on for six months beyond its completion date, particularly if it's your home and you can't get in there. Uh, you also want to know how your contractor expects to and when he or she expects to be paid. Uh, what you would ideally like to see is a contract that specifies that the contractor must come to you and ask for payment, at which point you can go to the site, see the progress that's been made, see if the benchmarks in the contract have been met. Uh, it might even be a good idea to have the designer, whether that's the architect, an engineer, the person who did the plans for the place comes to the site, looks at it, make sure it's done up to the plans, make sure everything is done the way it's supposed to before you authorize or make that payment. These are things that really should be in there. Uh, if there's any change to the work, any extra work, something that maybe you didn't anticipate when you drew the contract that you've discovered, maybe you decided you want to have a different kind of cabinet, maybe the contractor, based on what's going on, makes a suggestion as to something that could be done differently, maybe it's a bit of an upcharge, you want to make sure that any changes or extras are going to have to be in writing signed by all parties. Uh, you can avoid the problem that I've seen frequently where project is done or nearing completion, contractor says, all right, what about the payment for all the extra work that you directed me to do? Uh, now you have a problem because you didn't realize there was extra work and you could have a big dispute. Uh, now if there's no contract and it's your home that you're talking about, you have the problem of the Consumer Fraud Act because the contractor has to have a contract in place. If they don't, that's their responsibility. They could be looking at treble damages and they could have to pay your council fees.